In 2022, the government of Tamil Nadu announced a pen memorial in remembrance of former Chief Minister and the stalwart of the Dravida Muneta Kadaham, M. Karnanadi, inside the Bay of Bengal. It was planned to be built 360 meters from the coast in Marina Beach at a cost of Rs. 81 crores. On its demise in 2018, the then AIADMK government did not grant permission for the burial in the Marina Beach. M.K. Stalin, the then opposition leader, had to wage a legal battle for permission from the state government for the burial. Several environmental activists and few political parties opposed the Penn Monument project in the sea. The activists claim an impact on the natural habitat. News Click interviewed a section of those objecting to the project. The expert appraisal committee uh, has recommended for the CRZ clearance for the Penn Monument uh, in memory of the Dr. Kalingar uh, Karnanadi. Uh, Environment uh, has been opposing this uh, monument because it will be constructed uh, in the uh, sea. Uh, it will be an artificial ca- construction. Because of the artificial con- uh, construction, there will be a huge damage to the environment and other marine uh, biosphere. So that's our concern. For example, uh, when you are considering for the CRS uh, notification, uh, necessary there should be an environment impact assessment. The environment impact assessment must have the climate impact assessment study. That study has not been done in the present uh, project. Uh, and moreover uh, the change in the shoreline that's an another important aspect which has to be taken into consider before giving the crs clearance because in the coastal region of tamil nadu has been going on various changes from uh, in the, the short term of time for a continuous uh, for two decades and two three decades and there are many studies which says that the uh, in 5 to 10 years or maybe in 30 years the entire coastal region of the tamil nadu will be uh, changed in a must uh, various scenarios there are there is a study from the iit madras which says that the uh, sea level change and uh, uh, sea flooding will be a major impact for the coastal regions of tamil nadu so this kind of studies has not been uh, adequately adequately considered while the um, Environment impact assessment has been done for this project. Uh, for example, they have uh, pointed out one of the one study which, uh, which has been done in the year 2016, which has the data of the previous decades of data. So the present data with regard to the shoreline uh, shoreline changes and coastal region, especially the uh, sea erosion and sea aggregation, has not been considered in the environment impact assessment. So this environment impact assessment cannot be uh, termed as a full scientific study. It's an off-baked study. Cons- in taking into account of the off-baked uh, the study, the CRZ uh, uh, Expert Appraisal Committee has recommended uh, for the project clearance, which is very highly unlikely. Uh, and uh, um, that that decision, that the recommendation decision, must be uh, taken back. The Union of India must consider uh, the other aspects where many of the environmentalists has. Um, raise their flag a red flag against this project so they must consider all this aspect so on, on the aspect of an unscientific and off baked uh, study uh, clearance cannot be granted for this project in kanyakumari district the tiruvalluvar and vivekananda memorial were constructed inside the ocean when asked about it vetri selvan says that the nature of the kanyakumari and chennai seas are extremely different Uh, people are comparing this uh, monument with the tiruvalluvar statue in the uh, kanyakumari district for uh, the tiruvalluvar statue in the kanyakumari district has been constructed on a uh, natural uh, uh, natural formation of rocks right there was a ro- rock formation and the, on the rock formation the uh, statue has been erected so that's a completely d- different kind of construction that they have done in the uh, kanyakumari districts in the uh, the, uh, the tiruvalluvar district the tiruvalluvar statue and as far as the we are going to the uh, memorial is also concerned but but this project this memorial this ma- pen monument is going to be constructed in the uh, sea by erecting a completely an artificial uh, construction there is no natural formation of rock or anything in the uh, marina for marina uh, beach and they they are going to completely uh, uh, construct in a artificial manner which is uh, quite danger no uh, considering the marine biosphere and the ecosystem and uh, the other aspect is when you are going to construct this kind of new structure when we are going to establish a new uh, and a new building in the um, coastal region uh, the impact of climate change 
the impact of uh, sea erosion on the building has to be ascertained. That kind of ascertain has not been done in the environmental impact assessment. So, the, so the, uh, there is also a danger for uh, even for the uh, memory itself. When they have not uh, done the adequate study on the climate impact of the uh, statue. So, in, in, the far, in the next 5 years and next 10 years and next 20 years, there will be a huge change in our coastal system. That's what the, uh, that, is, that is what the recent uh, IPCC and other report says that there will be a huge change in the shoreline changes. There may be new uh, um, sand settlements and there will be more uh, sea erosion in the other part of the Chennai. Considering all this aspect, what will be the impact on the uh, memorial on the new construction because of the shoreline change and the environmental impact? That has to be considered. So, when you are trying to build out a new building, uh, what will be the impact of the marine and uh, biosphere and whether the sea level change, whether the sea flooding or sea erosion or the other climatic uh, extreme events will have an impact on the uh, uh, building. And because of the new construction, whether uh, there will be a change in the uh, climatic and shoreline change aspect on the coastal region, that has to be considered. That kind of studies has not been done so. So that's the uh, EIA uh, is an incomplete statement, and so we cannot uh, probably rely on the EIA which has been done for this uh, study. Kalanjar Memorial Purthurikim Bathi na adu sattapadi vandu pannamuriyada project. Yena. Rendai itu pelanin jelah, orang amanat kundang. Satu tiritatukundang. Possible in the Matuna, other Pandra the K, Muichetano. Apria Panano, Ye Panano. Okay, Ye Pandra the Tar Kuripani Kate application for the Gunadi. And the Kuripani application even the district level recommend money, state on the Madia Sanga recommend money, Apadan Tari Kurumudi. Makal Kartukuto, Vichagan under the Vandi, Ye notification killer in the project, Makal Kartukuto, Satabri, Kavaraga. In the Makal Kazu Tengan on Jipadina, in the Satatilla, Makal Kazu Vikin Sulipang, Makal get a Kurdicate, Ungeva, Adu, State Government Munima, Marudio, Ministry, Poyagano, Ungeva, Idupora the Tangle, Nenevich in the Mo, other Totterbudi Nadavari Kegalo, Nadavari Kapanigalo, Nal Yela Madamamudi, where in the Mandal Leo, Adi, Kavara Gulad, Ingapadina, CS two, CS one B, CS one A. That's four years ago. Saturday is minus Karitoli Rico, Nadutoli Rico, Roma Mukimanado. Yana would Baja Serago. Mandu Pagilavan, the mean regal. Nama mean of Ladima mean Pugia Pagi Padina, Ser Pagri, Unone, Par Pagri. Parana, Kadalgula Malargo. Urquipit Turk Malargo. At the stone along, Kalinoanga. Ungava. Under the new, Ser Bulla mean Pudipanga. Other Mukimana Ser Pagina, Pamba the Kilo, Arukilola, I put mean Pucharan. But mean Pigi Roma Mukimanado, and I'm good to report Ure and Alpatraga. Survey Ure or Patraga, Rindumanan Patraga. In the Buddha Valley and the Rindumanan Lenduaria. Ungeva Yarmi mean pretty clear, another mean pretty pair and the project learn there, Ara kilometer learn there, Rindu kilometer again, the Anji kilometer again, in the mean pretty pair. Abdina report with Rigan. Witty Sullivan says that the commercial aspects planned in the entire coastal region and this project are hidden. One other aspect we have to consider with the uh, with this monument is the commercialization of the entire coastal region. There is a proposal from the Chennai Corporation that from uh, starting from the Trivetur beach to the Basanagar beach, the entire coastal region will be turned into an ecotourism uh, uh, area. Uh, there is a proposal for bringing out many malls and other uh, different kind of entertainment parks in the entire coastal region. 
So, if you are going to allow this uh, construction activities, this will be not the final construction. There will be more other some similar kind of activities and more other kind of buildings will be coming all around our coastal region. It will result in the entire destruction of the coastal region and the deprivation of the livelihood of the fishermen. So, uh, when you are commercialization, when you are when you are when you are going to commercialize the entire coastal region, and when you are going to turn into an eco park and a tourist place, then we will not have an uh, then we will not have an environmental friendly um, uh, beach. No, then then we the entire marine system and the marine biosphere will be in. Uh, in in a, it will be in uh, very great danger and therefore the livelihood of the fishermen will be also be will be greatly affected for example recently uh, when the Madras high court has directed to remove the encroachment in the loop road many fishermen protested because there is their own land their own uh, area where they, are, they have been deprived of their own rights they were been, they were have they have been living uh, years together for the same uh, area and they have been using that area in a traditional way of uh, community oriented activities and they were doing all their fishing uh, community practice in the very road but because of the high court orders and the because of the uh, very uh, fast action by the state government now they have been deprived of their uh, traditional rights so uh, this is this is what happening in uh, in the coastal regions when you, uh, if, if this is what presently happening when you are when you allow this kind of uh, monumental kind of construction activities coming into process then there will be a great violation on the livelihood of the fishermen no they will be complete drain out of the their own coastal area that's a major another problem we are seeking so uh, commercial interest behind the uh, construction of the monument is one another thing we have to consider. On one side, many statues are being erected in different parts of the country. The ruling class succeeded on many instances despite outcry against significant projects from the various sections of the population. On the contrary, there are issues of coastal erosion and other climate change scenarios. Apart from the human life and livelihood, the lack of consideration of the prevailing ecosystem remains a question.